the channel, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to make a video on a hub switch. Um, pretty much what we have for our low pressure fuel uh, supply to, to kick on our secondary pump and um, keep your uh, the computer for the actual fuel pump from overheating because it's not always running two pumps. Um, also, you just don't want to run two pumps at all times uh, on this car. So. Um, for the main part, I, I was when I installed mine, I really didn't find any information, no installation, just pretty much a wiring, a, a, like a haphazard wiring diagram from Fuel it itself. All right, so I'm mainly making this video just to show people how to put the hob switch, you know, wiring together because when I looked for it, I couldn't find it. Um, and the reason I went with this system is because when I bought my Big Boost kit, it said it comes with a low pressure fuel pump. Well, to be honest with you, I'm not really happy with what I got sent. Um, and now I've, I've, I'm talking to six people installing big, big boost kits and everybody's running into the same issues. Um, so I will make a video on that later, not to throw a big boost under the bus, but let me, I want you guys to know what you're getting so you don't get surprises because I don't like surprises when it comes to this stuff. And I really want you guys to know what you're getting. So my next video or next couple of videos from now, you'll get the whole big boost situation what to look out for, um, customer service, uh, which is kind of um, here and there, hit and miss because it is a one man show. It's just one guy doing it, as far as I know it still is. And um, anyway, so here's what I got sent from Big Boost, right? It is a fuel lab, um, fuel pump. Comes with the fuel pump itself, it's a 325, which in my opinion is kind of small. And then we got a couple of socks, uh, filter socks that you can use one or you know one or the other. A fuel line that is worthless to you. Um, some hose clamps and uh, a little koozie, like a probably an anti-vibration little thing there. A wiring harness that has to be wired in, which is fine. That's pretty much every fuel pump, and some paperwork. Some just basic paperwork. All right, so this pump is not like ready to fit onto your car. You have to, you know, get the tubing and you have to put stuff together and you have to find a place for it to go inside of your uh, bucket and all that good stuff. And honestly, when my fabricator saw this, he was he laughed. He was laughing, um, and we went straight to fuel it. And we bought the low pressure stage three fuel pump with the 525 Wildboro. So the reason we did that is because we weren't happy with that pump. Um, if you want to put it together and make it work for you, that's great. That's a 325. Um, for what we're making power wise, maybe not the best uh, solution there. So anyway, so then I come to, once I get the kit from Fuel It, it's time to wire the hob switch and here's where we are now. So I've already done it. I didn't have time to film at the time. I was doing a lot of stuff, but I'll show you guys the general wiring system. Pretty easy, and I want you guys to kind of know because it makes it easier for when you're doing it. So, so here's where you're gonna have your wiring mostly. I'm gonna pop this guy. The trunk's a little dirty right now, but all right. So we're gonna pop this guy, and I've got the, I've actually got a mount for this that I put it up onto. A, a little clip right there, but right now it's off. Here's our relay. Here's our main pigtail that hooks up to our wiring. So let me let me go over the wires with you first. Pretty easy setup, um, a little unconventional, but it works very well. So we have yellow wire here going into our main 12 volt supply that has the fuse on it. We have another uh, 12 volt supply, which is our white wire. This white wire runs into our red wire here that goes into a 12 volt supply. So just pay attention to this, this color and where they're going. So our main is 12 volt yellow, goes to uh, the one with the, the fuse. Our red is another 12 volt supply going to our white wire. All right, now this black wire is actually grounding to the battery is going to the fuel pump as a ground. This thick black and red wire that goes to our blue, so blue is going to the thick black and red, 
which is also going to our fuel pump. So these two wires right here are actually going to our fuel pump itself to power it. One's negative going to the negative terminal, one's positive going to the blue wire on the relay. And then we have one more wire here. This is our negative running to the hub switch. So it's also black and red. It's much thinner than these two wires that are going to the fuel pump. All right, so let's go down the line. So this is wired through the hole here under all the paneling, properly wired, properly hidden, comes over here to our fuel pump underneath the seat. All right, guys, so we're here at the fuel pump. Going to take this cover off. And here's the two thick black and red wires. One's going to positive red, obviously. Negative black. Negative goes straight to the terminal. Positive goes to that relay that I showed you earlier. And what I've also got wired here is another wire that goes positive and negative. And what this wire does is it has a little LED light, which I bought off of Amazon, a bunch of these little guys. And this will turn on when the second 525 Hellcat pump, Walbro Hellcat, is fired. And it, start, it only gets fired at 15 PSI from the hob switch. The reason I have this is to make sure my pump fires and I will always know when it's firing because of this light. I will eventually uh, you know, route this wire to somewhere in the cab, uh, somewhere in the front there in the cockpit, and somewhere where this, this uh, is just gonna be barely sh visible. Uh, maybe in a, like a vent or maybe inside of a, the cluster somewhere where it just lights up for me and I, I know it's, it's running. It's really, imp uh, for me it's very important I know that pump is firing because that's where my extra fuel supply comes from when I'm on boost. So that's what that is. You don't have to have that, but it's a good idea. All right, so there's our two wires going to the fuel pump. Now the other wire that I was telling you about, the skinny black red wire, continues under here through both sides, and I'll show you where it goes. It goes through this kick, kick plate area, all the way through, all the way in here, and it is through the firewall and they put in, a, in one of those uh, push outs in the firewall. So it comes through the firewall, comes through the firewall on a push out, little rubber push out, comes through here and route it around. And here it goes again, here, 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 into the negative part, one of the negatives of the hub switch. So we're, we're tied up in here. The hub switch is also on the other terminal attached to another ground down there next to the alternator area where it grounds out. And that one is just a second ground. That's what completes the circuit. When the hob switch fires, it completes, it jumps this terminal, it jumps this terminal to this terminal, completes the circuit and the pump fires. So pretty much, let me demonstrate that with a wire for you. All right, so. As I fire the fuel pump, you'll see the light and the noise from the actual uh, pump itself. The 525 kicks on. So that's how that circuit's completed. All right, guys, so let me explain to you why I ended up here with the hob switch on the actual uh, intake manifold. And the reason why is because there is actually an eighth inch uh, NPT fitting on the charge pipe, which I have the VRS, a VRSF charge pipe uh, down here, but it's way, way under there. And to be honest with you, the way I was, we were thinking about it is why go there and you know be so deep under there with wiring and all that stuff when we can just uh, tap in an eighth inch um, NPT right here and uh, be, uh, you know, just be right here in front of everything, easily accessible, any problems, it's right here, right? So that's the theory on that. That's why we went with here. It's a lot more accessible, very easy tap. Um, you just buy a tap for this and you tap it in, it's very nice and tight, no problems, no leaks, and that's why it's there. So pretty simple. And also, I can also always test here. I can always, this is accessible. So accessibility is why I came here. So just to refresh your memory and to help you understand, this ground here goes to the alternator ground. It's just a little bolt on the, on the alternator. 
this other ground goes straight through, comes up here, goes around, goes through the firewall on a push on a, a punch out, goes under this area, comes through here, runs through the the uh, quarter panel, all the I mean through the um, kick plate there, all the way through, goes straight through, comes up here. Here, here you see it again. Under this is plastic, comes up through here and pops out over here. And here is that wire. Comes to our black wire of the relay. So black wire of the relay. Our pump is black negative to the negative terminal of the battery and black red, which is really just red because they're married together and you can't see the black. So our red and black wire here, the thicker ones go to the fuel pump. One's a negative, one's a positive. Black wire, goes to battery a red wire goes to blue on the on the pigtail the red and um the the red wire that's here that you see here is connected to our yellow pigtail wire uh, our main 12 volt this other red wire is connected to our white wire on the pigtail also a 12 volt so that's our 12 volt supply and um, that's pretty much the whole wiring process Again, I got the. Uh, you can get these uh, relays with a little, uh, little thing where you can just hook it up here. They have a little, um, kind of like a little tail that you can connect right here. I just don't have that one right now. Uh, I will get it. It'll just be easier to mount it. See, this one I can, I can actually mount on like if it had like a flat screw or something to mount it on. Anyway, so mine right now just sits under here, and uh, that's it. So that's how you wire a hob switch. Again, not happy with the pump that. Uh, big boost uh, supplies so we went with this so what I've got as far as pump wise is fuel it again this is who I use fuel it uh, as not sponsored video that I paid full price 1100 and some change for this pump it's a um, it's a 325 that runs at all times if I'm not mistaken and then our secondary pump that gets fired at 15 pounds per square inch so at 15 psi this activates, uh, the pressure switch goes off into the hob switch, uh, makes the circuit to the grounds, and as you saw, it fires the fuel pump. The fired fuel pump is a 525 Walboro Hell Hellcat. Thanks guys for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the content, and please don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next video.